For number 52, this is what's known as a compound inequality. And the math isn't that hard, but you have to know how to set it up. So I'm going to set this up as two separate inequalities. Two separate inequalities. In other words, it's going to be negative 5 is less than 1 minus 3x. And it's going to be 1 minus 3x is less than 10. Again, I took that as 1, and I take this as the second inequality. And then I just solve from there. So first of all, I'm going to rewrite this one. So it's 1 minus 3x is greater than negative 5. I didn't change anything. I just flipped it around because I'm more comfortable with the x on the left. And I'm going to get negative 3x is greater than negative 6. x is less than positive 2. Now, when we divide by negative, we have to flip the sign. So that's why this, this sign flip occurred right there. Okay, now I just need to go solve the other one. It's negative 3x is less than 9. x is less than negative 3. So then from there, I have my two answers. And if you're still confused looking over here at, at what the correct answer would be, let's draw a number line over here. So I'm going to draw a number line. So we have, let's say we have 2 here. Let's say we have negative 3 here. It says x must be less than 2. So we're going to shade to the left. We're going to shade to the left of 2. But it says it also uh, must be, oh, I forgot to flip the sign over here. My bad. So x should be greater than negative 3. So then I would need to shade to the right of negative 3. Well, notice the solution is, is this intersection between negative 3 and 2. So the answer would be x must be greater than negative 3. Okay, so that immediately cancels out f, j, k. But x must also be less than 2, which would then just make the answer h.